What is up, snackers? Welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while since we did a vlog. I know, it has been a little minute. I think even last time we said that we would do like a mini vlog, mm -hmm. but we only did one like on the page. So this is like a real, a real vlog on the YouTube and all that good stuff. So go. tonight is game night. We take game night very seriously in this house. We do. Yeah. So show them the game of choices. So we have the Uno. choices of games, sorry. And we got Monopoly Deal. Mm -hmm. A much faster pace Monopoly. Now I'm a fan of the old school. I love actual board game. But you know, it takes like five hours. <laughs> so be up all night playing. <laughs> right. So Word. we got the Monopoly mm -hmm. Deal. So yes, we are doing game night tonight. Um, to be transparent with y'all, it's been very busy lately in yeah. our lives. I'm just going to tell y'all straight up. Like, yeah. We're burnt out. <laughs> we're tired. It, that part, and then also it's just very hard to like, um, like we don't want to put out half-assed stuff and like that means us coming prepared with a podcast topic. We've talked about it. We have notes on it. Like yeah. it's structured, like. And then we can just, you know, bounce off of each other during the conversation. So it's still genuine, but we still like to have something prepared. So it sounds cohesive. Um, so when we don't have that, like this week, we got to improvise. So, so game night. <laughs> so what is the, oh, like what's, what's going on? What's making the game night fun? So two games, two rounds of each. So two games of Uno, two games of Monopoly Deal. The loser of Uno has to take a shot. So if you lose both times, you take two shots. And for Monopoly Deal, the loser has to plan the next date, correct? Mm -hmm. And then we'll vlog that date yeah, for you we'll guys. Vlog it. So, yeah, and then at the end, um, we put it on our Instagram, but we asked y'all um, for like some Q&A questions, so we picked a few that we liked, and then we will answer those at the end. So, stick around. Let's play. Devin's choice. <laughs> Empress. The indigo gene. Empress 1908. Actually, That really is cool. Shot really cool. What is it smell like? It's time to drink. Bae. It's time to drink. 
can't. No. It's time to no. drink. Next game, Monopoly. And I, oh. I kind of forgot to play. Because we don't put one down, right? No. That's why I did that. everything you need, boy. So why don't we nah. team up? That won't be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Are cheating. We'll come back with the winner of the tiebreaker, for camera's sake. I... Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you can tell from the reactions, I did not win. You'll always be a winner. No, no, no. That's crazy. No. No. You don't want to be a winner in my heart, bro? <laughs> Tickle me. <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Um, Dang. It's okay, because I still consider you a winner. Okay. Because um, you got me. Cut the cameras. <laughs> we are going to hop into... The Q and A portion of the oh, video. Yeah. Did you forget? <laughs> no. <laughs> um. But yeah, so we're gonna do Q and A, and then we'll close it down. So let's get into it. Gonna bring it on in. Oh, now you wanna be friends? Yeah, I'm, I'm over it now. Oh, I know this day can be fun, but <laughs> not this day gonna be fun. Yeah. All right. Q&A time. Some of y'all are funny. <laughs> Peace. But, okay. First one. Do you think there's questions about your past you wouldn't answer slash ask your partner? So I guess is there anything off limits that you wouldn't answer or you wouldn't ask me about and vice versa? Mm, no. All up for grabs. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, you already know everything about me, though. Yeah. I even like went into my past and told you about like, everything. Yeah. So for you, nothing's off limits. You I mean, think to hide. Nothing at all. I'd say the same. I think the only thing that's like touchy, maybe, is like possibly like like intimate details from like prior relationships. I never actually that either. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think we would ask each other, but I just like feel like that's none of each other's yeah. business. What went on with that? <laughs> like, you don't want to get your feelings hurt. <laughs> and vice versa. Like, we don't want to talk about that. It was weird. But other than that, no. Mm -hmm. Everything up for grabs. Okay. Another one that was asked, this one's kind of juicy. What's the most difficult thing y'all have dealt with in y'all's relationship so far? Mm. I have one, if you. Which one? <laughs> yeah, we might be thinking of the same one. Okay. Only because, like, ugh. 
I don't, I don't mean to sound like we're always good, but like we really, we rarely have like large yeah. things that like, like on the brinks of like breaking up or something like that. Like we're never, it's not like that. But like, I will say something that in my opinion that we struggle with. Um, Bro, honestly in three years though, we hadn't even really had any like big disagreements or big fights or anything. Like that. No, I don't, cause I don't even think we fight. It's just like, disagreements healthy disagreements like every relationship has those yeah but um i think as far as like the hardest thing in my opinion that we went through was transparently i was doing this little side hustle thing <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i was really just thinking that too I was really? like, the only one. <laughs> um and i had been doing it for about about a year um, and it was just kind of my thing. If someone I was doing alone, um, the people that I was doing it with had really encouraged like Devin to be a part of it. Um, he really didn't want to, it wasn't his thing. Like he just kind of wanted no part of that. Um, which I didn't take offense to. Like it was just, it was my thing for a while. So talks happen, conversations happen and he ends up doing it with me and it was a short period of time, but we struggled <laughs> during that period of time um, because I think we were kind of looking at each other like where are our priorities, like I was in it for certain reasons. He was only in it to like save face and like please me, you know what I mean? So it was just kind of like this struggle between like, okay, like do I make my partner happy or do I chase this thing that like might bring us fruit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like. It was, we really struggled with like, where are our values? Where, who are we surrounding ourselves with? Who are we listening to? Like, and we were not seeing eye to eye on that. And it really just took like multiple conversations, <laughs> like multiple late night conversations, everything to be like, what do we really want? Like, yeah. why are we really doing this? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Like, what do we really want here? Um, and what's awesome is like from all of that birth the podcast yeah. <laughs> so, so we really it, traded that in yeah this yeah to hang out with you guys <laughs> and now we're here with you guys but so luckily it brought us closer together in the end but for a while it was this like tug of war of like well i think it's important because this and other person doesn't really care but they want to be in it because like their partner's in it and stuff like that it was it was a lot i think that was like one of the hardest things we had to like pull yeah. out of and really be like okay are we on the same page here we need to compromise we need to work together like either we're in it or we're not it was a whole thing but made it out on the other side <laughs> but yeah that was like the only thing though yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I could really say that was like tough. Do you have one? No, see, we were thinking the same one. Yeah. You have a question? Uh, so I have one, and it says, What was the event or moment for both of y'all when you realized you wanted to marry the other person? Mm. I'm gonna say, for me, it's honestly during COVID, hmm. during like the COVID time, and which is kind of strange just because that was like really early in our relationship. Yeah. But it was because we were practically forced to spend a lot of time together. <laughs> Every waking so moment together. <laughs> I got adjusted to just like, I guess being with her or being around her every day, yeah. all day. So it was just like, it's bad. Like, <laughs> like it's, it's <laughs> not cool, bad. Like, but no, I'll, I'll honestly say, so I wouldn't say it was a particular moment, but COVID Same. for sure. But what reassured <laughs> it was just the fact that like during that time where we were in COVID, cause we were in lockdown and stuff. So we were quarantined together and stuff for like, the entire time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we were quarantined together with like a year, practically. Yeah. Um, uh, we got along. Yeah. 
in that span of time, like, and I think then it kind of just clicked to me that like, I get along with this person. Like, I know she likes me, I like her, like. Yeah. This is, this is A1. <laughs> Not A1. A1 sauce. <laughs> um, I agree in this, the fact that like, it wasn't just one moment for me. I think people, and, and maybe it is like this for some people, but I think a lot of people think that it's one moment that sparks. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I want to marry this person. Like, it didn't, I don't think it happened in our case like that. Like, it was just over time, like, getting to spend time with each other and, like, getting to know each other. I will say, like, COVID was definitely played a part in that, just, like, knowing that even when like the world is shitty like the fact that we have each other is like enough you mm -hmm. know what i mean i feel like that says a lot about you and another person i mean we had fun during covid boy we turned up <laughs> <laughs> we had fun well you gotta think about it because like a lot of people like broke up and divorced during covid times because yeah. you're forced to spend all this time and be quarantined with somebody like you better like them <laughs> or else you're really gonna hate your life so um so that definitely played a factor i will say something that really helped solidify it for me was what i was just talking about in the last question was like going through that hard time there was a particular it was one of our last conversations about it and devin was just very much like I'm not leaving you in this. Like, we either we do this together, we write it out, or we like get out of doing this. But like, I'm not being a part. Like, I'm already here. <laughs> like, we're either gonna stick it out and write it out, or we're gonna jump out. And so that was very much like, we have moments, we're very much team. We always preach this. Like, we always have, we always have team moments. But that for me was like, you're even willing to stick this out for me when it's something you really don't like. <laughs> like, just to like, form a unit with me, which I was like, okay, like you're, you're serious. Like, not just about this, but like our relationship as a whole, like you mean that shit, like high and low, wherever we go, like we are together. Yeah. And so, um, I think I talked about that on one of the podcasts that like, um, that's like a big thing that I've seen like with my parents and stuff like that where I'm like I want that because they very much are a united front everywhere they go so the fact that that was like solidified in me like to me that's like marriage you know what I mean so like when he came to me and said that I was like okay not only are you just like a good partner like you're gonna be a great husband because like I would ride for you like that so it solidified that you'd write for me like that and like it just locked it in for me so Ding. okay well said well said thank you <clears throat> another one said what's something you know now that you wish you knew at the start of your relationship I think you answered this on one of the podcasts. You said you wish that you knew how emotional I was. Yeah. Yeah, that still stands, bro. <laughs> that still no. stands. Yeah. I just wish I knew she was a waterhead. Bro. That's it. <laughs> but I just really wish. I wish I knew she cried about everything. I do. That was it. Other than that, everything else is pretty manageable. <laughs> I do cry a lot. Um, I cry when I'm happy, I cry when I'm sad. Like, if I'm laughing, I'm wiping my eyes, like I'm I'm crying, like. Like, if I type to you, like, LMAO, laughing, crying, laughing, crying, like, that's that's really me. Like, tears are coming down my face when I'm laughing, that's just. Face be red, it'd be yeah, crazy. Yeah, like, it gets really wild. <laughs> um, something I knew now. Um. I 
don't know, to be honest. I'll say this in a joking manner because I don't I don't actually have a serious answer. Okay. It's funny that you mentioned your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew from the jump how hard Devin's friends ride for him because the fact that he has an entire fan club about this damn PS5, it's got to go. It's got to go. And you know who you are. <laughs> Y'all know who you are. <laughs> I don't want to see it in my DMs. I don't want to see it on my story. I don't want to see it on Snapchat. I don't want to see it in my messages. Do not message me about buying this man a PS5. I've heard enough. I mean, That's what I wish I knew. What do you want me to say? <laughs> nothing. Mean, I want you to say all nothing. All you gotta do is get the PS5, <laughs> bro. Like, Anyways, moving on. Last question. That's it. And this is the one that was and is always the most asked. When are you gonna make me an auntie? When are you gonna make me an uncle? When are y'all having a baby? When, 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 baby, baby, baby. I need y'all to relax. Bruh. <laughs> need y'all to relax. Because before that, it was, when's the wedding? When's the wedding? When's the wedding? When's the wedding? We do one thing for y'all. Immediately. <laughs> and immediately on to the next. Like, damn, can we have a wedding first? <laughs> But yeah, probably like late 2024. <laughs> 2025, maybe. You don't know. <laughs> probably in 24, though. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Probably in 24. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs> Catch y'all on the next vlog. Yeah.